Welcome to another video analysis from the Vickers MG Collection and Research Association. I really hope you're watching these as a patron through Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash Vickers MG, where you're able to support the association and make sure that we get the time to do more and more of this content. If you are just watching through our normal YouTube channel though, um, thank you very much for subscribing, liking the videos and sharing them where you find them suitable. So, you know, this is another one of those videos where we're going to take a closer look at a film, um, and it, this time it's one from the First World War. Another film from the Imperial War Museum, it's a machine gun school at the front, which is the machine gun school in France uh, in December 1915. And there's a range of weapons being looked at here. At the time, the Lewis, the Maxim and the Vickers were all being taught. So we're going to cover you know, the, the whole video, not just the Vickers elements. Um, and it, production date is given as the 7th of February 1916, um, yet the filming seems to have taken place in December 1915 because it's actually a uh, sort of full foot film reel. Uh, if you want to watch it without me talking over it, then it's IWM204 is the, is the reference number there, and it gives you a little bit more information about it, including the fact that it was filmed by Jeffrey Malins there, who'd, be go, who'd go on to film the, the Somme 1916 film uh, that became so so famous and, and, and uh, it's that sort of full um, film about the Battle of the Somme. So let's go and take a look a little bit closer at the video. So, as I said, it's an official film of the British Army in France, uh, filmed in 1915 and released in 1916. And as with all of these, it gives us some nice cards that break up. So this is a machine gun school at the front and the officers here. It was set up by Brigadier Baker Carr, which if we have a look, let's stop it there, is actually this chap here. So that's Brigadier um, D'Arcy, Christopher D'Arcy Baker Carr. Uh, and he was originally a member of the School of Musketry back in 1904, I think it was, an assistant instructor there. Um, he left the left the army, uh, retired, and came back in 1914 when war broke out. Originally as a driver, and his biography is from brigade from chauffeur to brigadier, and uh, he'd go on to have quite an involvement in the setting up and the training of the tank corps later in the war as well. But at this point, he's uh, let's say here uh, shown as one of as the main chief instructor commandant of the machine gun school that was set up in um, not really sure where it is at this point I can't quite remember but it would end up in Camier um, for the end period of the war now other people I can't identify them but we'll have you know, this chap's a major so that might be Major Lindsay um, I think Baker Khan might be a major at this point as well uh, just see the, the possibly just the one crown on his cuff as well but we've got Lindsay Deeds, uh, a few other names that appear in our work on the history of the Machine Gun Corps uh, that we're putting together at the moment. So let's take a further look. Certainly this chap here is familiar in his face, so I might have to um, look another time at who these chaps are. But yeah, these are the staff of the Machine Gun Corps, uh, the Machine Gun School. Another class itself. Just take a quick look, shall we? Uh, what they're doing looks like they're wearing 1903 pattern bayonets um might even be for the for the long lee uh there i can't really tell but it's certainly not the 1907 that's the longer um longer bayonet that we perhaps uh so typical but this is really on early on in the war these are probably um instructors uh, no these aren't the instructors these are just the class themselves can't really work out what cap badge that is but we've got the wooden ammunition boxes um maxim period so they're wooden there uh, you can see they've got the leather strap most of them got the leather straps on the side uh, that actually go up over the top and you can see the grooves in those boxes as well and on this one here you can just see the three painted uh, shapes of the ammunition uh, 303 so that tells you which direction uh, the bullets are pointed in which direction the rounds are pointed in so you can get the boxes the right way around when you put them in place you can see that in our ammunition video so that guy's obviously got some these obviously putting them together tying them together there uh, so that you can pick up a couple at a time this chap that you just see moving with the tripod this one's with the gun here. We've got another gun there, another tripod on this chap here. So we've got the number one moving forward. 
you can see these people up in the front here. So we've got the number ones moving forward. The number two, he's actually carrying a Maxim machine gun, the predecessor to the Vickers. Uh, what have we got here? So this is the, the Mark IV tripod uh, being put forward by the number one. He's going to set that up. He's getting the legs round. Uh, we've got the same chaps doing it in the, in the back there as well. I'm just trying to work out with it. So it looks like, yeah, they're just wearing their normal 1908 pattern webbing um web equipment but this is a maxim we can see that we've got the smooth water jacket and the vickers at this point were all of the um were all fluted you've also got the deep uh, deep breech casing there and they're practicing going into action so we've got there all in their trench coats these are look like actually officers so obviously the school was set up to run um both for ncos and so i'm just gonna sorry just scrub back a little bit there because that guy moving forward here you can see on his arms he's got his sergeant stripes and he's got the cross guns of the um, musketry instructor walking along with their vickers as well so it's not just the maxim um, but yeah these are officers uh, being trained so we've got other ranks in the previous bit and then we've got officers here various regiments look how he's carrying the vic the tripod there all splayed out to try and distribute the weight um yep these are moving forward with their vickers machine guns um we've got another so i'll stop here another chap here now this i can clearly look so one of the things about the machine gun school at this point is the machine gun corps doesn't exist there aren't enough instructors from the school of musketry to come across so this is actually a member of the artists rifles you can see his sergeant stripes there and you can see above the crossed guns meaning that he is a musketry instructor but the cap badge itself is of the artist rifles because they were general headquarters troops um, at the start of the start of the war and they were nearby when the machine gun school was set up so their whole machine gun section came across and actually um, staffed the first instructors for the school something that Baker Carr managed to um, arrange so what we've got here is a Lewis automatic gun so and that one there is also a Lewis so like I say they're not just um, men of the or not just the Vickers machine guns or the Maxims these this is the machine gun school in general so they've got lots of all the different guns and then we've got another um, I believe another instructor of the artist rifles as well moving forward we're saying that this case here is part of the pack saddlery I believe it's part of the Lewis pack saddlery uh, you can see the chains on the back of it so it can be used to um, yeah go on go on the pack saddle and be carried by horse now we've got more men moving forward you can really clearly see the Maxim there being carried mark 4 tripod being used for the vickers and the maxim another machine gun instructor likely to be the artist rifles but that cap badge is just a little bit blurry more more machine guns moving off the range more instructors um, moving as well that does it that isn't musketry instructor um, that's possibly a regimental affiliation above the uh, above the stripes there so another we're moving down you can see how the ammunition box is being carried here with the leather strap over the top of it it's not on the side but it does fold away when you need it to and then we've got the drilling instruction with the maxim vickers and lewis guns themselves so this is um being able to you know using using the lewis in this case so magazine fed 47 rounds in the magazine changing the magazines say these flat pan magazines we do have lewis in the in the collection they're yeah you know, being instructed how to get down to the gun how to set it up how to set back classic sort of skill at arms drills really um as i said previously that leather case was for the pack saddlery we just saw it in this chap here if we have a look in this area here you can just see him come run away then come back to it flop it over and send it uh, take it back with him so then we're on to setting up machine the machine guns so the medium machine guns which weren't called medium machine guns yet not until the 1930s but there we go uh, they're the men of the machine gun teams the Lewis is of the automatic rifle or the um, at that point so we got great display of how to set up the tripod quickly and this is the Maxim uh, machine gun here number three brings forward the ammunition box 
Number one sits down behind the gun. Number two brings the gun, puts it on top, takes the ammunition box from number three and puts it next to the gun and feeds the ammunition in. And they've got that hand up there to say it's ready. They are ready to fire. And now they're gonna dismount the gun. Number two throws the ammunition box out of the way. Number three comes along, picks it up. Number two takes the gun. Number one runs away with the tripod as well. And there they are ready to set up. Tripod folded up. Uh, by the number one standing to attention now these chaps here um, are under instruction in stripping the Lewis so that's the butt come off there he's now taking out the um, the internal parts taking out the piston rod using the, and, and using the piston rod to um, point a few things out there this takes off the top the, the feed tray takes out the bolt I believe at that point and he's going to take the spring off the bottom show that notice how they're doing the instructions so these traps are all writing down exactly what he's doing you see some great notebooks of the period now we can see the cross guns on the instructors uh, just above the instructors rank now as well so these are sergeant instructors and that's their official title he's taking the flash eliminator off the front and then you can take out the fins the uh, and take off the, the casing, the outer casing there as well. It's great to see a Lewis taken apart this far. Uh, very rarely um, do you be able to see it. And then we've got some time on the range. And if we just stop that there, because these are new guns for us. These are Colt potato diggers. It's the colloquial ter term for them. So a Colt made machine gun and in use with the uh, Canadian forces when they came across to support us um, you can see they've also got maxim at the end there so we've got some canadian machine guns these are i think it's the model 1895 uh, that these are so we've got three maxims and then it looks like these turn into vickers down here as well so it certainly looks like a, a busy day at the range the instructor fire in here as well so we've got captain instructor cocking and firing the vickers and if we watch what he does with his hand you can see that he's doing that two inch tap so to traverse the gun he's taking a solid um sort of slap of the gun uh, to to move that to the right so slap on the right and then this is a machine gun target and each one of these actually corresponds with where he should be firing um, with that two inch tap so that's the that's the width at the appropriate range that's what he should be doing should be able to traverse that it's a great great image of the machine gun target itself there and we can see all the the bullet splash there in, in the back can't actually see that where it is going through but it's a nice early vickers machine gun um fluted walkie jacket early maxim style sight we've got a number of one of the scottish regiments there um number three ammunition box uh there in the wooden wooden box with a solid open lid and you do see you know you can look at our ammunition video ammunition box video and you'll see all the different variants of that you can just see the back of the um cult potato digger on the on the right hand side of the screen there as well and then returning from the range i think we're into the last bit of the video now and you can see the chaps walking back um and i think is this that might be the coast these look like cliffs up in the background and this might be the coast so cameo is near the coast it's just near a tarp um, and, and the sands there became quite famous for the machine gun school cameo um, sans cecile sur la plage i believe is the the name of the town but you can see all the different guns being carried back from the range pretty much everybody's got either a tripod or a machine gun or a I think a few ammunition boxes on their backs because those big long leather straps meant that you could get them on the shoulders so there we go hope that was interesting for you hope you enjoyed it and i hope you'll uh you know support us and you um tune in to watch the next video thanks for watching Thank please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel please support us on patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future i look forward to hearing from you